Okay, so one thing I didn't talk about last time is there are multiple different virtualization platforms that you can use. Uh, the one we're using today is called VirtualBox. VirtualBox is open source, developed by Oracle. You can download it, install it, and run as many virtual machines as you want. Well, depending on the hardware availability on your device. So right now I have a laptop and I've got 16 gigs of RAM. I've got a solid state drive. No, I'm sorry. It's a, it, it, it is just a hard drive. It's not a solid state, but it's got, it's a two terabit hard drive. So it's got enough storage and 16 gigs of RAM and it's an i7, I believe. So uh, it's a pretty powerful device in itself. I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this more than once. And I want to install a virtual machine, but I don't feel like going through and creating it step by step. I want to just fire up the terminal and pop up a bunch of commands and done. So how do I do that? All right, so I'm going to navigate to, actually, you know what? I can, we can, well, let's go to VirtualBox VMs and I can see all the virtual machines that I currently have. So Vagrant is a handy little tool where you can do this instead of having to go through and click and add and name. So Vagrant at HashiCorp. See what I want to do is I want to create a Linux virtual machine. I want to spin up a Linux box. And that is going to be a Ubuntu, a virtual machine running Ubuntu distribution, uh, which is is it Debian based? Nah, I can't remember. Yeah. No. I can't remember. It's not important. All right, so there it is. So now we'll see Vagrant file. So let me get out of this virtual machine that I'm in. We don't need that anymore. All right, here's Vagrant. It kind of explains what it is. Check videos. We don't need that. Um, so I could open that file and show you the code. And you know what? I think I will. Let's go right into that. Here is where I would configure the settings for the virtual machine that we're currently creating. So a lot of this code is already written out. I just got, I, you know, I would go in there and add my own bells and whistles. Let's say I wanted to assign a, okay, so I have about four or five virtual machines running on this right now. So it's, my computer's running a little slow. You know, you get the calls, why is my computer running so slow? What are you doing? Blah, 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 you know. Well, yeah, it depends on what you're doing on the computer. It's not always a network. If you have a lot of resources that are consuming your processes on your network or on your device, it is going to slow down the computer. So right now I've got my CPU is probably going to be, oh, well, not so much my CPU, probably my disk usage uh, is going to be maxed out almost. Um, and I'm also recording a video and uploading to YouTube. So we're really kind of consuming a system resources, the memory, I'm sorry. It, it's, well, yep, yeah, the hard disk drive and the memory is getting swallowed by everything I'm doing. 